In this video, let's talk about pivot tables in Excel and how this tool can help us on a daily basis to save time and also to automate tasks. Basically, a pivot table in Excel can help us organize and summarize the data set. So let's say I have a sales report. It doesn't matter because you can use any different type of data. So as the information I have, order ID, the date, the brand name, the product name, the quantity, cost, price, margin, customer name, and also the region. Because I have a lot of information, I cannot see properly what is going on with the data set. If the sales are good or if the sales are bad, what about the margin for January or uh, the total price sold for February for March and so forth. So all those analysis can help me analyze the data set. And the pivot table can, in a easier and faster way, help us instead of using formulas and functions. So the first step that we can start with is have a data set, okay? And then the second one is to transform the data set into a table. You don't need to, let's say, click the insert and then use the table itself, transform the data set into a table. However, this step is very important because a table always keep the data up to date. So let me show you here an example. First of all, let's click within the data set and then table. Make sure the range is properly selected. My table has headers, yes, and then OK. Simple as that. This is a table in Excel. And you can also change the color, the design of the table, going to the table design tab. And if you click here in this button underneath, you can choose different styles, maybe orange or yellow or blue and so forth. Let me keep up with the, the blue one because it doesn't matter. It's just the color. It's not going to change the functionality. Let's say now I go to the last row of my data set. And here I have a new data or a new information. So let me input here this new information. And if I hit enter, as we can notice, a new row is going to automatically appear. And the way we know that now this new information is part of my table. So this is one of the benefits to use a table. Whenever you update the data set or input new data, new columns, new rows, this new data is going to be automatically included into the table. Let me get rid of the last row, and yeah, that's it. Now let me go back at the top, and uh, let's go and create our first pivot table and understand how can we use it in a practical way. Insert and then pivot table. We're going to have this new pop-up, and we can choose either new worksheet or existing worksheet. If you choose new worksheet, Excel is going to create a new sheet right here with the pivot table. But if you choose existing worksheet, you can place the pivot table itself into an existing worksheet, let's say uh, here to the right, for example. But let's go uh, and choose the first option and then click OK. That's it. Now we have to the left our pivot table and to the right the pivot table fields. Basically, in the pivot table fields, we have all the columns of our data set. So order ID, date, brand, and so forth. And here underneath, we have the fields such as filters, rows, columns, and values. We can use, we can couple the information above with the area underneath. And the way we can uh, display different informations into the pivot table itself. This is how we can arrange the pivot table. So let's say my pivot table now is blank. However, I want to show in each one of the rows a different information. So we can use the rows area and I can take here maybe the region. So click, hold and drag the region and drop within the rows area, like this. Now, each one of the rows are a different region. And if we check in the pivot table itself, we can clearly notice that east, north, south, and west, each one of the rows are a different region. But let's say, plus, I also want to add here some values. So I can use the values area. But what can I do with the values? What type of information can I use? Maybe the quantity. In the way, I'm going to know what is the quantity sold for each one of the regions or if i take the total price the total price sold per region and so forth but let me take here the total price click hold and drag and drop within the values area now we're going to have a sum of the total price per region and if we go here and check this is exactly what i have east roughly fifteen thousand dollars north roughly forty seven dollars and so forth so this is how we can use a pivot table in excel now let's say, instead of using rows to display a different region, I want to use columns. 
So what I can do is I can take the region, click, hold and drag and change with the channels. So click, hold and drag within the channels like this. Now, each one of the channels are going to be a different region. However, basically we have the same data set as before, but with a different arrangement. Now let's do something different. Let me go back to uh, using the region as the rows. And I want to create a new pivot table. To create a new pivot table, we can do the same process over and over again. I'm going to show you how to do it, but I'm also going to show how to make uh, the pivot table faster. But let's anyway go to insert and then pivot table. This time it's very important to use a existing worksheet. Click in this upper arrow and then go to she one. And let's place this pivot table just right here to the right. Down arrow and then OK. With this new pivot table, maybe I can have, let's say, the date. Click, hold and drag and drop here within the rows. And as we can notice, the date now are instead of just date, we have months, days and date. This indicates that if I go to the pivot table, I have more options. And if I click in this plus sign to the left side of each one of the months, I can open up each one of the details about the, the month. So March, March 1st, March 2nd, and so forth. But I don't need all those informations. I only want to keep up with the months itself. So I can go here to the date, click, remove field. And I can do the same thing for the days. Click and remove field. Okay, now I only have the months. January, February, and so forth. Let's say now I want to see what is the average margin for all the months. I can click here in the margin, click, hold, and drag, and drop within the values area. But the problem is, automatically, the pivot table is going to take the values and it's going to add up those values. So I'm going to have an addition, a sum. But I don't want to have a sum of the margin. What I need is an average. So what I can do is, I can click here in the values and then go to value field settings. And I can use, instead of sum, a average. And then OK. Simple as that. If you prefer, you can also select all those values and then go to home tab change it to a percentage, and also increase the decimal places, because that way you can have more preciseness. Now let me show you a, the last example that we can do here using maybe some filters, and also how to faster create a pivot table in Excel. You can easily select any pivot table that you already have in the screen, and then right click, copy, go to any cell, maybe here to the right, right click, and then paste. Now you have a third pivot table, only copying and pasting uh, the information, simple as that. Maybe we can increase the width of those columns, okay. Let's say I want to know the products instead of the regions. So let me take here, products, and, I, and the total price, okay, yeah, I think it's uh, it's good. So creating omega-3, pre or count, and so forth. Let me change the values to a current one, okay. Uh, but uh, as we can notice, I have in my data set all the months of the year from January to December. Let's say I don't want to analyze all the sales throughout the entire year, but I only want to see how much each one of the products sold based on the January month. How can I do it using this pivot table right here? I can apply a filter and it's very simple. So let's say now we know that my criteria as the filter is going to be the year or the month or the days, the weeks, whatever. So I can take the information that I need, such as months, Click, hold, and drag, and drop within the filters area. Now, if we go here at the top of the pivot table, we have a new row with the month state. And if you click in this little square, you can open up the filter, and you can choose the one that you like the most, that you need to use. So let's say now, just to compare, creating 57,000. But let me change, instead of using all the months, I only want to see April, and then OK. Yeah, now creating is equal to roughly $4,000. So it's working. So this is how basically we can use pivot tables in Excel. And the last detail that I want to show that I think is very important is if you click in any pivot table that you have, you can go to design and choose a different style. Maybe we can keep up with this bluish one. I think it's very beautiful. Another thing that you can do is you can get rid of this grand total at the bottom. And if you have, for some reason, a grand total to the right, you can also get rid of the grand total. It doesn't matter. So right click in the pivot table and then go to pivot table options and then you can go to totals and filters and can get rid of the grand total checkboxes if you go to layout and format there's one option that maybe can help you that is this auto fit column with 
on update. Because anytime you update a pivot table, the width of the column is going to change automatically. So if you want to avoid the column to change the, the width, you can just uncheck this checkbox and then OK. And yeah, that's it. Now we can close this right panel right here. And uh, this is how we can use pivot tables in Excel to analyze the data and also to summarize and also to organize in a different way. And that way we can make analysis throughout our data set in Excel. I hope this video can help you out. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow because every day has a new video.